Maka is tracking the forecast for the eclipse now. Ellen? All right, guys. Well, we're taking a look specifically at some of that cloud cover that we're expecting as we get into Monday itself. So we're going to start at about 8 a.m. and then roll on through very slowly to 8 p.m. And you can see that we have this batch of cloudiness, especially for North and South Dakota. Keep in mind that the path of totality cuts from places like uh, Washington and Oregon all the way down through Nebraska and then uh, Carbondale, Illinois, ending finally in South Carolina. So where so we have some of this cloud cover isn't necessarily going to be affecting the path of totality as much as it's going to be affecting spots that see the partial eclipse. So here's another way of looking at it. You can see a lot of sunshine off to the west, but we do have some areas of showers and storms, especially in Dallas and Little Rock down through New Orleans and then again on the eastern seaboard. So for us locally here, there is a chance of seeing some cloudiness, but right now it's looking like high clouds, which actually would not be a problem. And we have you covered for the historic eclipse coming up at seven. I'm going to be taking a look at <laughs> what do you expect <laughs> out in eastern Nebraska and uh, along with what to, what you need to know about your safety of glasses here and uh, coming up on Monday I will be in eastern Nebraska in the path of totality cannot wait to send you the coverage from there <laughs> clearly ready for that eclipse yes, Ellen you, you have your glasses on already <laughs> <Looking> good <laughs>